Welcome back everybody to VectorWorks 2013 with me James Russell. We're in the season three and I've had a user question so we're going to start out with that. It's from Mark and he's asked me if there's an easier solution to change things in 3D once they're made. He's made a hole in a box and he wants to know if he can change the radius of that hole afterwards. It's a great question. So VectorWorks has a really good uh, backtracking function inside 3D objects. It's kind of like Inception. You go back in time, you make a change and then you come forwards in time. So we're going to have a go at that now. I'm going to draw a couple of basic shapes here. I'll start out with this rectangle, just across to here, like so. I'm going to extrude that up, let's say about 250. I'm also going to draw another box over in this corner. We'll extrude that also to about 300. And lastly, I'm going to draw a cylinder here just to represent the hole in the box that we were talking about previously. And extrude that right up. I'm just going to jump in a side view and drop this cylinder down so it intersects the full way. Probably would have done it anyway. And this box here, I'm also going to raise this up to about here. So looking in 3D, there's my object set. And I'm just going to render that so we can see it. So I've got this box here, this box here, and this cylinder all the way through. So I'm going to do some basic 3D operations, which we all know about. I'm going to click on this box and this box. Right click and add those together. So they're now one solid up here, one solid addition. And I'm also going to do a subtraction using this, subtract solids. We know that the one we highlight in red is the one we want to keep. So I'm going to click on this one and hit OK. So you can see we've cut a lovely hole there right through the middle of that object. And this is now one solid addition, as you can see. So that's all well and good. You might continue your drawing for the next half hour and you come back and go, this is really great, but I need the hole to be bigger to put a bolt through or you know something like that. How do I do that? So all you need to do is double click on the object and we'll take you inside this lovely orange view that we're getting quite used to with the border and the exit solid subtraction button. This is really important, this little button here, because it tells you the operation that's going to happen when you click it. It doesn't just say exit, it says exit solid subtraction. And what you'll notice is we've got two objects here, not one, we've got two. This takes us one step back in that object's creation history. So we've got the point before where we had a cylinder and we had this strange object that's the solid addition. I'm going to click on this cylinder and make the change that I want to make, which is make it slightly larger. I'll give it a radius of 50 and see how that works out. It's looking quite good. And then when I click exit solid subtraction, it will do the operation that we did before using those two objects and give us this with a larger hole, as you can see. Now the great thing about this is you can double click on this, go into here, do your changes. But this object here is also a solid addition. Any of these solid additions, subtractions or intersections can be edited in this way. Just double click on that and we go back another step in that object's history, taking us back to where we had two boxes. So I could then change this box here, I might look at it and make it a bit longer. Maybe it cuts all the way through, all the way down to here. If I click exit solid addition, it will do that operation where it adds this and this together. Let's do that now. So we end up with this rather strange state. And we've gone back one step. You can see we've still got the orange border. That's because there's another operation to come, which is this object and this object, cutting the cylinder away from this. Okay, so I'm going to click that. And we're going to end up with a really strange shape here. But it's a good one for this example, where that solid addition has been done. And then it's taken that solid subtraction out of the middle of it. And you can see that still goes all the way through with our new radius. and doesn't quite poke out the top. So hopefully that example helps you out there. Anyone who's looking to do that history steps back through time to edit their 3D objects, it's really handy, uh, especially if you've made one small mistake far down the line, especially in repeating patterns and things like that. You can make the change and then go all the way forward through operations without having to undo several times or start again. So just keep it in the back of your mind that it's not always a permanent change that you have to make, but it is something that you can consider. Hopefully that helps you out. Mark, thanks for writing to me. And uh, if you've got more user questions, send them on through and we'll have a look at them together. Until next time, I'm James Russell. I'll see you soon.